had an expert panel that was um, that was part of the uh, that that were the authors for this paper, and the idea was to try to um, incorporate people from all over the world who had um, specific um, expertise um, that could address some of these current issues in progressive MS. So what we found from the paper is that uh, more funding is needed. Um, so the authors examined the research um, portfolios of the Progressive Alliance, as well as its five managing um, members. So that includes the MS societies of Australia and Canada, Italy, the United Kingdom and the United States. And they found that in 2017, the organizations funded you know, $228 million in research grants. But interestingly, only 1% were spent on studies that had anything to do with fatigue or pain, 3% related to issues about mobility or upper extremity function, and 5% um, were devoted to cognitive dysfunction. So, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you know, the, the variety of, um, of uh, impairments or symptoms from um, MS are wide, but the fact that such a small percentage of uh, the money was really spent on symptom management was, was really alarming. So that's, that's one current issue I think needs to be addressed. And that's what we're hoping this paper will kind of bring to light. Um, there are also knowledge gaps. So um, we identified four symptoms that we think are, are um, important areas that, um, that people with MS have identified are important for them. Uh, and these are uh, fatigue. Um, a second impairment is um, issues with mobility or upper extremity or arm function. A third impairment that we found very important was pain. And then a fourth one was cognitive impairment.